In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I would recommend attacking the cover two defense out of the trips tight end in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden players that they can become. And so if you want to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on YouTube. Now, I wanted to talk to you about a defense that I find that is actually rather difficult to beat if they use these specific adjustments to their zone drops. And that's the cover two unpressed. So if a cover two is not pressed and they have their cloud flat set to 30 yards, you're gonna find that this is actually a really hard defense to beat. So uh, to show this to you, I've got my coaching adjustments here. I've got my flat set to 30, my curl flat set to 10, and my hook curls are set to 10. Now out of the big nickel over G, is a very specific uh, way to, to run this defense. So uh, I want to talk to you about it from big nickel over G. I think it's the better of the many ways to run cover two uh, just because of where it, it kind of starts on the field. And so the play we're going to be using uh, to attack this from our trips tight end is we're going to be using the play verticals. Okay. So now verticals, I want you to look at this route here to the triangle receiver, uh, to the circle receiver. You're going to see that we can't really uh, do anything. But to this uh, square receiver, we can smart route him, but we can't do anything really else. Okay. But I just want you to kind of look at this. So first and foremost, this is what I want to get at. So if, if we're running with our trips set to the wide side of the field, and they set up a setup like this right here, something very simple just like this right here. And I tried to do this motion over trick that we've been doing all season long. Now this is provided that they put a middle third on the field. So they put their linebacker into a middle third zone, something like this right here, okay? If they do that, um, you're going to notice that if even if I streak circle and streak, streak the X, you're going to look, if you watch this route, the triangle is really hard to fit this in. As you can see here, it's borderline impossible to fit it in to the short side of the field. The short side, normally this is an easy read against cover two, but to the short side of the field, it's just not happening. And I'll tell you what, it's um, specifically because of that 30 yard flat. And the other reason why, the other big reason as to why that is the case is because that cloud flat starts about five to 10 yards back, which is gonna even improve his depth. And so it's gonna make it really hard to throw this ball. As you can see right there, it's just not able to be thrown. So how do you attack cover two if someone runs a defense like this? Well, one of the other ways we used to do this was through using these motion over skinny post routes, okay? Because they got uh, they got to a really unique area on the field, and so this is another way that we uh, used to do this. So again, we're just gonna put this guy into a middle third, and then we're just gonna throw some yellow zones on the field, maybe something like this, right? Something, something rather simple. Uh, you could actually do a defense very, this is actually kind of a cool defense right here. If you take, um, the safety on the left and do something like that and then maybe you take this guy and put him in a purple now you've got kind of a really unique little coverage that'll do pretty good against a lot of things but anyways i just want to show you um, primarily this cover two side so if we run with this concept here you're going to see again 30 yard cloud flat and because we're snapping you know right in here like we normally would you're going to see that he he just doesn't get there he kind of gets to the sideline and stops the main reason why two main reasons first one is because the cornerback is backed off and the second reason is because the route uh, or, or because of where we're at on the field, okay? So you might think, well, maybe we should just run short side trips and motion over and, and, and hit it that way. Well, uh, you would be doing what I thought to do myself, but if you watch this vertical setup, you're going to see that it's pretty hard still to hit it. So even if I get him all the way over here, away from that deep half, because that cloud flat is such a significant advantage, it gives that deep half so much time to get over there. That's why backed off cloud flats, in my opinion, are really, really hard to bomb uh, over the top of. Let me show you that. Uh, let me show you that through the play, uh, through that post play that we were talking about. So same thing, and I'm just putting the middle third out there, uh, just like this right here. So we're just running kind of a traditional, um, you know, kind of Tampa two where we put that deep that uh, that deep third on there. So now I want you to watch this this route combo. This this post route's very similar to a route from the compression set and you see again same thing, just can't get there. 
They literally just can't get over the top. There's not enough room on that side of the field for that route to run itself open. So what you start doing is you start saying, okay, well, what if we snapped it sooner? So like, what if we snapped the ball like right there? Or does he have enough room then? Well, now look, you see here, he does, but it's tight and the pressure's bearing down on you. So we need a better formula. We need a better formula is what I'm getting at. Um, and again, if they're strategic defensively, they could do something like this. That's gonna take away that tight end route. And then um, that's that's gonna take away that tight end streak. And if they're able to take away the tight end streak, like what, what else do we have uh, on this play? So something like this right here, so you can't roll out, right? And then you're really, I mean, you see, I mean, they get back on that. That's just not a, it's not as good. If it's 25 yard flat, that's an easy read. But it's 30 yard flat, um, for whatever reason, makes it really, really hard to burn it. Uh, it makes it hard to burn it in multiple ways. It makes it hard. Uh, but let me show you one other thing real quick. So to prove that it's this idea of like press, so I'm gonna press the coverage and I just want you to watch what happens here. So the first setup that didn't work, if we press the coverage, you're gonna see here that it's gonna easily get over the top just like that on the sideline. That's with press. Without press, you're good. With press, no good, you know what I mean? So, so basically we're still asking that same question. Well, so how do you beat an off coverage Tampa 2 deep? Well, the best way to do this is to leverage a wide split. So if we can get this, um, this left side safety to move. That's really the, the critical thing. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take the circle receiver and we're actually gonna put him on a fade route. The reason we wanna put him on a fade route, it's got a little outside release and it kind of tells him that we're going this direction. And then we're gonna continue to keep with this stock fade here to Mike Evans on the outside. And then we're just going to uh, run whatever we want to run to the right side. Typically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna streak the tight end most of the time. Um, and then what I'm actually gonna do is bring a little option route to the running back into the equation. And you'll see this right here as we just kind of naturally set this up. But if you watch this square receiver, you see that because of the leverage that he has, he's gonna get over the top for an easy dot. Now, one other thing that your opponent's gonna try to do, especially if they're experienced and they've been running a lot of Tampa 2 this year, is they're gonna take this guy right here and they're just gonna move him kind of out in this area right here. And I just want you to watch that because that's a good, it's a really solid adjustment, really, really solid adjustment. So if we run this same thing, and again, we really want to remind you that it's really important that they put this guy in the middle third. If they put this guy in the middle third, I mean, they can get away with that, but like, it's not as good. So, but anyways, we'll just show it to you like this. So if they have that set up, this option route is actually very unique, um, but what you'll see here is hard outside pass lead, click on, and you're gonna see you're still gonna be able to make that catch, okay? So that's really the, the formula, the best formula that I've seen for beating a 30 yard flat out of a cover two is if they're running that to the wide side of the field, the fade is really the important route that you can have on your field. And again, you have to think about this from, a, from their perspective. If they bring this guy all the way out here, for example, like let's just say they do, um, and they bring this guy into a deep middle uh, blue zone, something like that right there. Now what we can, now what we can say um, is if we take this triangle receiver um, and motion him, you're gonna see that it's gonna look kind of like this. Now what you should see is that tight end route was open. You could have probably hit that left side seam. Uh, you could have probably hit that left side route. But really what we wanna to try to do is we wanna to try to get this deep half zone to kind of bite into the middle of the field. So uh, I'm just gonna leave this guy over here just, just for the sake of the video. And one way we could do that is through using a post route. So uh, with a hot route master, we have like this little post here that we can do. And we've got an option route. So post routes will sometimes pull these middle thirds down. So you'll see like right there, if we can get this outside, do a little swerve catch, you've got a shot at hitting that. Okay, but that's the best thing that I've found. Uh, the deep half glitch is good, but it doesn't answer the, the real problem, which is this route, um, 
Like the real problem is how do you beat a cover two whenever they move this guy like that, right? To try to take, because they're trying to take away that delay fade and it does make it a little bit more difficult, right? But if we can get this middle third to kind of bite down on this post and we can leverage this option route and stuff like this, now you should see that we have that circle receiver deep. We can hit the circle receiver or we can hit that, hit that, um, hit that other receiver on the outside. But if they are, again, if this deep half comes out here and they have a middle third, typically what they'll also do is they'll bring this guy out. If they do that, now what's happened, think about how the deep half zones are gonna flow to the outside of the field. So now what we can do is we can throw interior streaks. So we could do this and then just basically lowball that that's an easy read up the seam, um, but that's the that's the best thing that I've seen uh, as far as dealing with this because the deep half zones are actually really good. The biggest key is the press. If they don't press it, that's what makes it really really good. Um, a non press cover two is actually a lot better than a press cover two, just because of the way the zone drops are going to play. Um, another thing you can do is if you take the circle receiver and you put him on like a curl and you try to run this combination, you'll see he'll kind of hold him a little bit better. And as you can see, we can get that ball to the outside. So anyways, that's a little bit about trips tight end and a little bit about how to deal with 30 yard cloud flats. I think 30 yard cloud flats are the best zone in the game right now. So if you're not running them, you probably should be. They take away a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff, um, especially if they're from the outside corner, not pressed up. They're gonna take away corner routes, crossing routes, a lot of streak routes, a lot of that kind of stuff. So thanks for watching this video. If you want to get my entire trips tight end offensive guide, you can get it for just $10 and we show you how to beat every single defense in the entire game consistently with high low reads and concepts. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get the trips tight end offense, it's down in the description.